I was I was explaining to people, uh, I put a little blurb up that my my Mustang was mad at me and bit my hand uh, on my Facebook page. And uh, well, it wasn't that bad. Just kind of smashed my fingers a little bit. Didn't break anything, from what I can tell. And I'm not going to the doctors because it's not that big of a deal. Um, what I was doing, I was loading groceries in the trunk, right over here, and uh, it, the wind blew it down because February winds and. Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia area gets pretty high. Wind blew it down and smashed on my fingers. Thank God it's got a nice big thick safety seal on it. Um, rain seal on it because uh, it kept, probably kept from breaking my fingers. I had to call somebody over to get them to help me out. But the reason I said that cars are fickle and, and have you know minds of their own is I just bought this. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is my new truck. And I know it's not new. It's a 1958 Ford. And she needs a little bit of work. Um, just she needs a little bit of work, but it's in relatively good shape. The frame's nice and straight. But this is why, as you walk to the back, you might be able to hear it rumble. It's got a 351 Cleveland in it. But this is why my Mustang's mad. Because I went out and bought something so I could give it to Mustang to my son, of course. And I went out and bought a nice old truck so it's a fifth like I said it's a 1958 and I'll back up hopefully you'll be able to see it all looks pretty good when that's passenger side and that's the back with this nice dual exhaust just kind of rumbling right along got some extra tires and rims and stuff in there I'm gonna take out original bumpers some more original parts I got to take out today and uh, here's the other side looks nice and pretty in the yard the front I kind of had to park it close to the fence because uh, I want to be able to put the Jeep behind it so and I got some trees that I got to cut up so I don't know how I can do this well how well I can do this but there's the front end the front end looks good some rust spots on it need to be feathered out gonna need a new paint job some work, some some small electrical work done to it. Get the ho get the horn working, such stuff like that. Inside of the cab is nice and clean. Need some some wire cleanup. It's got a heater, yeah. bench seat. I'll probably take that and get it leathered or something, make it look good. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's a quick little tour of it. Uh, I'll see if I can open the hood. Um, should be able to, should be right about here. Ah, well, that was easy. That's easier than most new cars. Ugh, heavy though. Hold on a second. And that's what the engine bay looks like. It's got a nice new battery in it that he's got tied down with bungee cords so I have to fix that. We have the sport starter relay switch that we all know all of us are going to love to hate because there's so many of them that go out. And nice 351 Cleveland sitting in there. Nice pretty good pretty good shape. Good fuel pump. And you notice what you don't notice no power steering pump, no brake booster, no brake pump. So what does that tell you? What it tells me is this is a man's truck. You gotta be a man to steer it, and trust me, I already know. But it looks good overall. Nice little screen keep bugs out of the radiator there. Let's try to see what we got over here. We got a double horn if we get that working. When we get that work, this is going to have we work on a pass inspection here in Virginia. Ignition coil, scuff points and condensers. Now I might have changed that. Maybe, might change that to an MF, MD, was it MSD? Ignition box. But I'll see how that has to go before I make that decision. A very small front axle. And it didn't shut, of course. I'll have to go and shut it from the middle here in a second. Uh, the original, I guess those look like original, the original rims on this side, and then I got some modulars I can clean up maybe, like that. 
let's see how it does. So hopefully I'll be uh, giving you some uh, how-tos and some why-fours and show you some pictures of what I'm doing to it as I go along for those who, who are interested in, in old old vehicles. For those of you who are, you know, my family members, that's cool too. Um, so I'll have some stuff going up. Hopefully I can change your radiator in the Mustang here in the next few days if it stays warm. Um, we'll come back from our trip. And I'll probably put up a how to change a radiator video. Give some people some uh, stuff to look at. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you in the future. Bye.